welcome back in previous segment we discussed uh, some basic principles for clamping apart in fixtures and jigs now we will we will start a discussion on types of clamps and first we will discuss strap clamps strap clamp is essentially a beam and fulcrum setup that converts screw torque into clamping force using a lever Strap clamps are very, very commonly used for fixtures and jigs, and you will frequently see them being used on, on milling machines and CNC machines. These strap clamps are available in variety of designs and shapes. Here is an example. So at the top, we have a clamp strap. So these straps can be available in different shapes, design, and sizes. Then this is the heel support. Then we have fastening element that is basically a screw. And here is a spherical washer that locks the screw into position. And at this point, actually, here, the workpiece is held using a strap clamp. So the screw is tightened to hold the uh, blank in the position and it is uh, loosen to remove the blank from the fixture and you could see that there is a slot uh, in the in the strap so you can adjust the screw in into position to accommodate different sizes of the part as well as to increase or decrease clamping force so we will discuss the second point in one of the following slides so here is another example so this is having a slightly different design. So for example, you can see that this pin is having a different design than the one we saw here, uh, the seal support. And uh, here we are also using spring in, in, addition to, uh, in, in addition to the thread. Here we are having a clamping knob that has a different design. And we, we are having the spherical washer and here the part is being uh, being clamped. So this is the area of contact of the clamp and the workpiece. So you could find other designs uh, for the strap clamps as well. So here is uh, an example of strap clamp being used. So here it is being supported on this uh, stair type device, this one. And this is the locking screw, and this is uh, this is the workpiece or blank, and here it is being being clamped using this strap clamp, and you can again notice this slot that can be used to adjust the position of the screw in either direction, and here is another example, a similar example, so here the uh, strap of the strap clamp is not being supported on a heel pin, but again this this stair type uh, structure workpiece is being held here at this point this is the locking screw and you could notice that uh, in both cases actually uh, this locking screw is held in the t slot of the table of the machine so the distance between the fastener and the workpiece should be less than that between the fastener and the heel pin, because this increases the mechanical advantage of the clamp and, and increases the holding force on the workpiece. So again, this is the fastener, this is the, this is the point where the part, part is being held, and this is the, the supporting point or the heel pin. So if, if both distances between the fastener and the part, and between fastener and the uh, heel pin is equal, then the force at both points will be equal. But if we reduce the uh, distance between the part and the, and the screw, and in, increase the distance between the, uh, this heel pin and the screw, then the force being applied on the part will increase. So this is the better placement. So one third of the strap length between the fastener and the workpiece and two thirds between the fastener and the heel support. So here we will have one third of the, of the force because the distance is 
two thirds and here we will have two thirds of the force being applied on the part because this distance is one third. In the next segment, we will discuss toggle clamps. Thank you.